This week in United States Division South, the Iraqi Army helps make ends meet, Country Western comes to Basra, and soldiers on Basra celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Welcome to this week's Danger Edition. I'm your host, Staff Sergeant Nick Morales. As the Iraqi security forces perfect basic combat skills, they're refining their specialized capabilities such as civil military operations. Iraqi soldiers from the 14th Iraqi Army Division hosted a humanitarian aid food drop at a local grade school in Basra City, and U.S. forces were on hand to advise and assist. Building trust and good relations with the Iraqi people is key to success for the Iraqi Army. The 14th Iraqi Army Division understands this and is making an effort to help. Local citizens in the city of Basra recently took advantage of a humanitarian aid food drop at an area elementary school. The 14th Iraqi Army Civil Affairs Office coordinated the effort, supplying food packets for 100 local families. The food packets consisted of flour, rice, beans, cooking oil, and other staples of the Iraqi diet. These type of missions provide a long-lasting impact on the people. They see the Iraqi Army here uh, able to help meet their basic needs by providing for the food just temporarily. Humanitarian efforts like these also serve to help Iraqi citizens to draw parallels between insurgents who seek to disrupt security here in Iraq and members of the Iraqi army who are committed to maintaining security and assisting local families. In the long term, they're providing security for the people. And this is important because it establishes trust. Uh, the people see the Iraqi army as legitimate and is here to serve their basic needs. Years from now, they'll hopefully remember the time when the Iraqi army came to provide for their needs. As the economy here in Basra slowly rebounds and the security improves day by day, the relationship between the people of Basra and the 14th Division is already good. Events like this food drop are nourishing that relationship even further. Soldiers aren't the only ones who make repeated deployments overseas. The Basra Resiliency Campus had a special guest this week who was on a sixth trip to Iraq. Sergeant Thomas Kappas has the story. If you stop by the Basra Resiliency Campus after work, you might be surprised who you find there. Michael Peterson, an inspirational speaker and country music performer, played live on the campus stage Friday night. After the show, Peterson talked about why he enjoys performing overseas so much. By and large, my favorite shows have been shows where you know, you're not thinking about the paycheck. And I get a, a strong feeling of that when I'm here. I don't, I don't really think about it, you know. In between playing songs from his three albums, said, well, what, Peterson you know, also threw some that, comedy into the mix, lightening the mood for an audience that didn't know jokes were going to be part of the said, show. Yeah. People say sometimes when they come after a show, they say, uh, wow, I laughed a lot more than I thought I was going to. Peterson spent 17 days in theater for his latest tour, performing shows at camps across Iraq and Kuwait. Sergeant Thomas Kappas, Basra. September 15th through October 15th is Hispanic Heritage Month. Units across the different branches of the military celebrate the diversity in their formations. I had the chance to cover how soldiers here on Basra celebrated Hispanic Heritage Month. This month from the defect to stages, Latinos across USDS are sharing their traditions and experiences with fellow service members and civilians. A couple of things that are most common in the Latin culture are music, food, and you can't leave out the dancing. Sergeant First Class George Lloyd and Specialist Emil Ortiz swept the show away with some salsa. Uh, we were the entertainment. <laughs> yeah, we were performing pretty much, dancing a little bit, showing the, uh, the people what is pretty much Hispanic Heritage Month about. We danced a couple of songs about salsa and bachata. Pretty much, I believe they liked it. They enjoyed their, their time being out there. Lieutenant Colonel Enrique de la Paz, the keynote speaker, shared with those in attendance how he took the values he was taught growing up and used them to help advance his Army career. Family, home, uh, closeness, togetherness hard work, dedication to mission and to duty. Uh, these are things that are innate to most of us Latinos. We, we learned these values generations ago and we keep passing from one generation to the other one. As Hispanic Heritage Month comes to a close, 
all the different events from the HMM observances and salsa classes give service members throughout USDS a greater understanding of the Latino culture. That's it for this week's Danger Edition. For the 1st Infantry Division, I'm Staff Sergeant Nick Morales.